everybody. My name is Karen and I'm the counselor here at Plexus. In this workshop, I will... Hi everybody, my name is Karen and I'm the counselor here at Plexus. Welcome to the workshop on types of scholarships. In this workshop, I will guide you through the different types of scholarships that you will encounter when you are applying for scholarships. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with merit-based scholarships. Now, what are merit-based scholarships? Merit scholarships are awarded to students for outstanding credentials. Merit-based scholarships are based on academic achievements of demonstrated talents in these areas. First, we have athletics. Maybe you're very good at one specific sport that you have been playing for a long time. Next thing we have is arts. That could be maybe your skills at any of the type of different arts that are available. That could be theater arts, fine arts, drawing, etc. Music, that is maybe you're skilled at playing an instrument or you have just a passion for being involved in music. And other special interests that of course are not included in this list. Some merit scholarships also consider financial need, but rewarding talent is the primary objective. That is, they most likely look at the talent you have in one of these areas or whatever the scholarship is looking for. Merit-based scholarships may come from the school or from outside resources. That is, there are a ton of scholarships online that you can look for that are merit-based as well, or they might also come from the school itself. Maybe they can be included in the financial aid package, or maybe you have to apply to them directly. Let's move on to need-based scholarships. Now, what are need-based scholarships? These scholarships are awarded to students who have financial need based on their family's income and their family's assets. Federal Student Aid is need-based. The Federal Student Aid, also known as a FAFSA, um, is a free application for Federal Student Aid. It is an application you send to the university so they can determine the financial aid you will receive. And of course, this is need-based. There are location-based scholarships. That is, scholarship providers like to see people from their community succeed, and so they often offer local scholarships available only to residents of a particular geographic region. That is, maybe there are scholarships in your county, there probably are scholarships in your state, in your city, etc. Since the number of students who qualify is limited based on location, the chances of winning local scholarships are often greater than the odds of winning national scholarships. Now, national scholarships usually don't have any qualification based on location, that is students from all over the world or from all over the U.S. can apply to these scholarships, giving you a lesser chance of getting that scholarship. And for local scholarship, there is only a limited amount of students who can apply individual scholarships now what do i mean by individual scholarships many scholarships for high school students are student specific in order to apply you must meet their specific criteria now what type of criteria let's go to an example you can find scholarships for women first generation college students which are students that are first in their family to go to college asian americans or any other race military family members, and bilingual students. These are just some examples. Of course, there are a ton of other criteria that is in place. So you should think about the characteristics that make you unique. The scholarships in this category are usually the most specific. You have a better chance at getting one. So maybe you fit into more of these categories. So you should find scholarships that are just specific to you in order for you to apply to that scholarship and for you to have a greater chance of getting that scholarship. Let's move on to major or career specific scholarships. These scholarships are for students who choose to study a certain career path. So that is, there are also scholarships for students who would like to major in a specific something that they are interested in so they could search that as well. Search for professional groups or companies associated with your major. Now you can look at their website or you can look at maybe some scholarship website, search up that company and you can see if they offer a scholarship specific for the major you're interested in going into college. College alumni sometimes set up scholarship funds for specific courses of study too. As an incoming freshman, you may be considered automatically for these scholarships or you may have to apply separately. Now these scholarships may be included in your financial aid package or of course there might be a separate application that you have to fill out in order to be considered. Now let's move on to athletic scholarships. An athletic scholarship is an amount of financial aid awarded to a student athlete from the college athletic department. That is, each sport has a specific set of scholarships that they can award to the students in order for them to play in a sport in order for them to be enrolled in the college. 
These athletic scholarships are awarded based on the student's athletic abilities and how they can contribute to the team. A coach decides who receives the scholarships and how much they are awarded. So that is the coach decides uh, based on the student's athletic ability, how good they are, and if they want, want to award a scholarship to them. Both the NCAA and the NAIA offer athletic scholarships to prospective student athletes. However, Division III schools in the NCAA do not. That is, only Division I and Division II schools offer scholarships. Their scholarships usually come from other areas of the school and not the athletic department. So even though you, even if you're interested in playing Division III, you might still be awarded for a scholarship and not from the NCAA department. And finally, we have no essay scholarships. Now, these are the simplest type of scholarships that you are going to encounter. Some organizations created scholarships that do not require any essays. These no essay scholarships are examples of easy scholarships because they do not require a lot of work to enter. That is, maybe some scholarships only require for you to do one click. Some of you only require for you to fill out your information and that's it. And these are, of course, the most easiest scholarships that you can apply to. But because fewer students enter scholarship competitions that require one or more essays, these scholarships are less competitive and easier to win. The no essay scholarships, on the other hand, are harder to win because more students enter. Because these scholarships are so easy to apply to, you have a lesser chance of getting a scholarship, but you can still consider applying to these scholarships in order for you to have a chance. All right, we have reached the end of this workshop. Thank you everybody for sticking around. Before I leave, I'd like to let you all know to please download our Plexus app on the App Store or Google Play. If you download our app, you'll be able to receive instant notifications. We will also very much appreciate it if you leave us a rating and a review on the App Store or Google Play as well. We very much appreciate all the feedback you all can give us. Chat with my counselor if you have any questions regarding this workshop or if you'd like to reach out about your journey to higher education, we're always happy to help in answering all of those questions as well. And finally, check out our Plexus YouTube page for more college readiness workshops. Our Plexus YouTube page is called Plexus Social Media. Thank you everybody again and I will see you all in the next workshop. Bye!